everybody's a competitor. Uh, everybody's out here to get better, uh, perfect their craft, and um, I just love being a part of this system right now. The, the fact that you can play inside, outside, move around, obviously Bob and, and, and Matt talked about that after drafting you. Um, are you seeing that initially? Is that a fun part about being in this defense too? Is, is there's multiple roles, multiple things you can do within it? Uh, well, first I got to learn the playbook. Uh, I got to perfect that part. Uh, but other than that, I'm just I'm taking day by day, and wherever the coaches need me, that's where I'll be. Uh, I'm just one of the puzzle pieces to to our uh, to our organization. So, like I said, I'm just trying to take it day by day. How do you go about learning? Uh, just talking to the vets. The vets uh, learned it last year, and uh, they're doing a great job for the younger guys. But um, I just got to take the responsibility to learn it on my own and uh, just do the right thing. Jelani, did you read any of the coverage about your draft pick or read any of the uh, No, I don't really care, like, worry about anything. Um, I think there was a quote, uh, lines don't listen to what uh, – to the opinions of goats or whatever, so uh, I'm just gonna have that mindset and just focus on what what I can control. And uh, right now, I can just control uh, taking care of my body and just worrying about tomorrow. Now. I was just curious because fans obviously didn't kind of know who you were. I don't know if there was some sense of like I'm gonna silence any doubt or <laughs> these people wrong. Uh, it, I mean, it's hard if you're from Hawaii, but um, you know, I'm just like I said, I'm just trying to take day by day and uh, learn this defense and uh, just help the team out. What's the transition been like for you, having come from Hawaii, where you were a leader, a guy who took people under his wing and helped out, you know, I think coached some kids, or whatever, some uh, local kids there, and now you're, you're a student, you're a young guy, and how's that transition from leader to, to student? I mean, with, it's been great uh, getting to learn from the guys who are vets here. Um, they're great leaders, and uh, I strive to uh, try and become a leader like them. So, like I said, if I just take day by day, then hopefully uh, I'll, I'll get to that uh, point, but. Uh, we just we just gotta worry about uh, the next day. So, uh, yeah. Does it feel alien to you to be here? Is it oh, not at all. This is this is a great environment. I love I love uh, the, how the coaches uh, uh, make or not make us, but have a standard on just being successful. So, um, I want to engrave that in my mindset and just uh, come out here every day and uh, just be a lion. How have guys like uh, JD Christian kind of taking under the wings? I think you're stepping into a good situation there with guys who kind of. I think the whole organization does a great thing, a uh, great job about it. Um, but again, you just got to take responsibility on your own and uh, just know that uh, it's a it's a new new environment and uh, you just got to learn on the go. Have your brothers, they've, they've had a taste of pro ball. Have they helped you at all with uh, transitioning to the pro game? I mean, they gave me t tips and details, but um, everybody's experience is different. So, uh, yeah, I mean, my main message right now is literally take it day by day. And uh, I've been doing that for a while. So, um, yeah. What do you think of this weather? <laughs> oh, this is great. <laughs> you know, uh, great. You so much of this up there, right? <laughs> I mean, not really, but um, yeah, I'm just grateful to be here. Um, yeah. I'm grateful for the opportunity that uh, Mrs. Ford, uh, Bob Quinn, and uh, Coach Patricia have given me. So I'm just going to make the uh, make the most of it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.